Over the last 10 or so years, there haven't been many more underrated wrestlers in all of North America than Chad Gable. From his time playing second fiddle to Jason Jordan in American Alpha to his time as Shorty G, Chad Gable has been through a bit of a journey in WWE. And if you ignore the last one or so years under Triple H, the booking that Chad Gable has gone through has been nothing short of underwhelming and disappointing. And it's precisely why people have thought for years he has been quite underrated. Mind you, this is someone who is a former Olympian. This is someone who many believe to be the closest thing to a Kurt Angle type character that we have seen in WWE ever since Angle left the company back in 2006. And when you look at the intensity with which he wrestles with, the charisma that he has on the mic, and his ability to make pro wrestling and the matches that he's in feel real, you could make an argument that Chad Gable is arguably one of the best pure wrestlers in the game today. And with news coming out of Fightful that his contract is coming up just as soon as next week, it's possible that he could take his craft elsewhere and showcase his skills potentially in either New Japan or All Elite Wrestling. You would think that those would be the two biggest suitors for Chad Gable and the two places where his style would really clash well. Remember, Gable is someone who exemplifies intensity in the ring right now, arguably more than anyone else today. And if you put him in AEW, he could very easily fit into a stable like the Blackpool Combat Club, which would allow him to keep that intense wrestling mystique about him without getting buried under that massive roster and also getting lost in the shuffle and creative, which we know has been a difficult situation many AEW talents have had to deal with. So you could have him immediately come in, be a part of an established group, help build the mythos of that group, and also catapult him as a more serious wrestling character. And that is no shot at the way he has been booked in the past two years. We have seen Chad Gable evolve from Shorty G to Chad freaking Gable. Someone who was able to get disciples under his wing and train people to be good in the storyline. Like, if you look at where Otis was before he joined up with Chad Gable and where he is now, it is night and day. And mind you, this is after Otis's big run was ruined by the pandemic. He was one of the most over acts in the entire company, in one of the most over stories in the entire company. And unfortunately, things didn't work out. He got lost in the shuffle. But then he joins up with Chad Gable. And these two just kind of worked off each other so well. You add Maxine Dupree to the situation. And for whatever reason, it clicked. And that's when you started to hear people say, shoosh. That's when you started to hear people get behind not just Gable, but his group and what it stands for. And if you are able to use this newfound widespread popularity that Gable has, it can make a pretty big splash for your AEW in free agency. And that's why I think that if he does hit free agency, as is reported to be the case next week, Look for Chad Gable and AEW to come to a deal pretty quickly. I think things could come together rather quickly and that we could see Gable actually debut in the company as soon as Forbidden Door. And you want to talk about opening up the Forbidden Door, we also got to talk about New Japan Pro Wrestling. As New Japan Pro Wrestling, one of the things that they have always exemplified is that in-ring intensity. So it would be a no-brainer for him to potentially even do New Japan. I mean, you could argue that he could come in, lead a big group, like potentially the Bullet Club, who may be looking for a new leader at some point very soon, and it would be believable, and it would help build up his credibility and the credibility of that group. Because let's be honest, the Bullet Club right now is not what it once was, and it is largely due to the fact that they don't have the star power that they once did. They don't have the ability to bring in these big names anymore, does New Japan Pro Wrestling, as they once did. And Gable, say whatever you want about him, he definitely is no Cody Rhodes. However, he is Chad Gable. And this version of Chad Gable going into New Japan would make a big splash 
and I think could potentially be the world champion if things go right there. So the possibilities are endless when you talk about Gable outside of WWE. We'll wait to see what happens with Gable. Obviously, he's going to have to make a decision here. But one thing's for sure. Over the last few years, Gable has proven himself to be that damn good in the ring and proven all the doubters wrong with a big fat shoosh.